Welcome back to Roses for Adventure. My name is Sonia and today I'm going to take you on a full walkthrough of one of the grand suites on board the Harmony of the Seas. If you've never been to our channel before, welcome. We are so glad that you are here. We are a fun-loving, adventure-seeking, and travel enthusiast family of four and we love sharing our adventures with you. Now we had the big privilege of staying in a grand suite on board the Harmony of the Seas recently with our family. And so it was really great to have all that extra room with kids and having four people sleep in the same room. It can get quite cramped in some of those typical staterooms. So we were fortunate enough to win our royal up bid so we got to experience the suite life. In this video we'll do a full walkthrough and make sure you stick around because I'll share with you how we set up our stateroom so that we could fit our family of four very comfortably. If you have any questions let me know down in the comments. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and like this video and don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all of our awesome cruise travel and adventure videos. So we are in a grand suite today. We are so excited to experience this with our family. Um, it is in room 12660. So this would be your setup if you booked this stateroom. So let's get right into the tour, shall we? All right, so there's your front door as soon as you walk in. And you have a nice little pantry area. Um, here is your safe. And it is a massive safe, so you could definitely fit a laptop, iPads, all of your cruise documents, all those things, important things in there. And the best part is these safes come with a plug in them. The smaller staterooms do not have that luxury, so that is super nice. Um, and the safes in the other staterooms are about probably half the size. Um, you got plenty of storage in here for whatever you choose. And then you have your closet. It is absolutely massive. There is tons of room for all of your things. Uh, it does come with a great amount of hangers. And as always in any room, you can request to have more hangers if you need them. Um, plenty of shelving space for all your folded items or shoes. You do get two robes to use while you're on board. Do not take these home with you or you will be charged. Um, and they do have the laundry bags if you choose to do that. The suites do come with a pressing service as well that they will come in iron or press your clothes for you if you need anything to get the wrinkles taken out. Then right next to your closet here, you have a nice bar area that you can choose to stock with your waters. If you've decided to bring pop or water on board, some cute little designs here. And you get complimentary coffee maker, so you do not have to go down to the boardwalk or to the Royal Promenade or anywhere to get your coffee. They have some tea selections here. Um, they do come with creamer and your um, sugars. Ice bucket and some cute little cups there and then here down below that is your refrigerator area just the standard refrigerator that most of the cruise rooms have it is not very deep so you're not going to fit a whole lot of stuff in here but just enough for your waters if you decided to bring bottles of wine on board and you want to keep those chilled a great place to do that all right so just to the right of the bar area this door leads to your wonderfully spacious bathroom. This is a huge, huge upgrade from the normal rooms on board. Um, you do have a full tub here, so that is wonderful. And a movable shower head, which is great. And my favorite part are the upgraded amenities. So in the regular state rooms, you get just a body wash uh, shampoo combo and that's it so these have a fancier shampoo conditioner um, and a body wash there love this glass door as well what a nice touch there you have dueling sinks and actual counter space here great lighting for you to get ready with and storage behind the mirrors as well 
as down below the sinks. So just tons and tons of storage, whereas in typical cruise rooms, you are fighting for every inch of space that you have. And here you could have your own little party. <laughs> All right, so then we go out into the living area. There are two chairs and a couch. This couch does pull out into a bed. Um, so if you have more than two guests staying, you can have that out into a bed. Or if you just want to sleep in separate areas, always an option here. There's a nice little table here and some more storage down below your TV. There is a nice Samsung TV, and I have seen a lot of questions lately for some reason about um, HDMI ports, if people are bringing on like a Roku stick, if you get the internet package, or if some people, I guess, are just big gamers, so they want to game. This TV does not seem like it's pulling away from the wall, so it would be hard to get to the charge or the ports to hook that up. All right, and from your living area here, you have your bed area, the the Royal King, they call it, which is separated with just a curtain, um, no door here, but at least it creates two separate spaces between the living and the bed space. Um, again, as any bed on the Royal Caribbean, these can be pushed together or separated into two twins. So it does make it nice and spacious. If you choose to have a mattress topper, you can ask your stateroom attendant for that as well if you think this bed is a little too uncomfortable for you. Next to the bed, you have your vanity area, getting ready area, whatever you would like to call it. Plenty of storage here. And of course here. And then a nice jewelry container to keep all of your things organized and safe there on the counter and then this desk does pull out as well it's a very flat area so not a whole lot can get stored there it is not very deep um, but maybe a tablet or something like that could be stored there then you have your standard plugs here one european two of those more storage up above and down below next to the bed you do have these different kind of fancy light controls you push them and then you can turn them to turn them on and off dim them whatever you choose some great storage here and there there is no plug next to the bed on the left side of the bed but you do get this plug here next to the vanity desk area On the right side of the bed, there is actually a plug. So that is nice to charge your phone, all of your devices, right next to your bed. There you have it, the bedroom area. Next, we're gonna go out and check out how spacious and how wonderful the balcony area is access to the balcony is in a living area the windows in the bedroom area are just windows there is no door there so to access your balcony you go through the living area and you have a nice spacious deck area with some upgraded amenities a chair and table and then also these loungers where the footstool can be pulled out nice and comfy spot to sit and read and relax Today we are just getting on board, so it is quite noisy down below, but when you're out at sea, this would be a great place to sit and read your book. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around at this point. We really do appreciate you. Remember to subscribe and like this video. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or if you've ever stayed in a suite and how you enjoyed your experience. Make sure you do subscribe because we are going to go into depths about sweet life and how you get to enjoy some special perks that other passengers on board do not get access to. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on our next adventure.